Today I'm going to be talking about how to add a sheet of PEI to your 3D print bed. So a couple months ago I talked about how to add uh, a glass bed to your Monoprice Select Mini printer. And there's a lot of reasons why I did it. Um, there's less cleanup, you don't have to rip off the masking tape every time. Um, it leaves a nice smooth finish. It's an absolutely smooth surface so you don't have to worry about warping of the aluminum print bed. Um, so all sorts of reasons, and here's uh, one of the glass, uh, the mirrored glass that I used, and I cut off the corner so I could get to the adjustment screws. And this has worked fine for a while, and I've done tons of prints with it, but I finally got a little bit uh, fed up with having to use hairspray or a glue stick and whether it's stuck or not. Um, and a lot of the comments I read, people said you should try PEI. They also use build tech. Um, but a lot of people said just try using PEI and I looked and it was 20 bucks so I finally got to the point where I'm like you know what how about I try it so I went on Amazon and I think shipped 18 bucks I got this a piece of plastic um, and more importantly you don't have to use a glue stick with this you can print right onto it it adheres well there's no cleanup no mess no fuss so I finally decided to give it a try and it's PEI stands for poly something something so it doesn't matter all that matters is that it's simple to print with and it's gonna stick it was uh, it's a high heat resistant material um, so hopefully this will be even easier than messing with masking tape to, to glass and hopefully easier than glass um, so I've seen a lot of people add it in a, in a certain way. They'll buy this PEI and then they buy this 3M tape. I didn't buy the tape. I don't plan on sticking it to the aluminum print bed. I don't plan on sticking it permanently to this glass plate. What I am going to do is cut it to the same size as this glass plate and um, set it on here and use the same uh, small binder clips that I've been using. If it goes well and I really like it, maybe I will buy some sort of tape and stick it permanently onto this. I don't really want to stick it permanently onto my aluminum print bed. Um, I want to keep that clean. So a lot of people have done different ways of cutting it. I've already marked out um, the print, uh, this glass size on here. And I've done uh, one cut with it. What I've done is, I, like I said, I traced around the glass that I have and I used a metal ruler and a razor blade and I've scored the line straight and then instead of a lot of people have just snapped it it'll suddenly break off but you can only do straight lines what I've used is I, I, I'm not exactly sure what these scissors are I got them at Harbor Freight for a buck or something I think they're for like the medical field use them they're for cutting anything they're, they're not really exact but they're quite strong and with them I'm able to cut corners and anything on here. I followed the straight edge that I scored with the razor blade so it'll follow that straight line but on the corners I'm just able to use the scissors and cut these corners. So let me show you how I cut it up close and then let me show you how I add it to the print bed and we'll see how it prints with it. So here's the sheet of PEI and it comes protected with this uh, uh, plastic film on it and you can see where I marked it the same size as the glass I have and like I said, I took uh, the utility knife and a straight edge and I pressed very firm. You're not going to cut all the way through, but I scored it about halfway through. And then I took um, these scissors and I was able to cut uh, one of the corners. And I don't think you'll be able to do this with normal scissors, but with these uh, heavy duty scissors, I've been able to cut it quite easily um, along that scored line and uh, cut the corners off so I can access the adjustment screws. So it's a lot easier, I think, doing this than I saw people scoring it and having to snap it. Plus you're only getting a straight shape. So with these scissors, um, you're able to do it, cut any shape you want. Another uh, thing you could possibly use would be these, uh, tin snips or, or uh, yeah I guess they're tin snips or for cutting metal this would probably work just as well yeah that cuts very easily too so so anything like this would work or any type of uh, heavy-duty scissors would work so that's the sheet um, I'm gonna peel back the uh, film and I'll attach it with the binder clips and we'll see how it prints 
So after I brought the uh, sheet of PEI upstairs, I put it on my 3D printer and I immediately learned something. And that is I understood why people use that big uh, double stick tape to adhere it to the glass sheet. And that is because it ensures that it is completely flat. I noticed when I got up here that the sheets that I have have a slight bow to it. I don't know if you can tell, but this is bowed. And I tried to bend it back but it wouldn't really bend back. It kept that kind of bowed shape. Um, and then I realized, so if I printed it with the bow up, it would always be touching in the middle, even though it would be tight on the edges, because I was gonna clamp it to my glass sheet. And you can see that there's a, a little gap in there. So even if it's tight on the edges, it would be bowed in the middle. Then I thought I could put it the other direction so it's now it's touching in the middle and when I clamp it down it'll be tight all the way around and I think that'll work but now I do understand why people put double stick tape on these and stick them together that ensures that it's flat uh, the next thing I did is I did a test print I put it up to 50 degrees for the print bed and 200 and I used some PLA and it started to print okay it, it stuck for a little bit and then maybe five minutes into the print the part peeled up and I thought it didn't work, this is terrible, you know, spend 20 bucks and it doesn't work. Then I realized I didn't really read thoroughly all the reviews and all the suggestions people have said. I just said, heard people said, use a sheet of PEI and everything will be fine. So, after reading some more, I learned there were some other suggestions. One is, you should probably print with a heated bed of at least 65 degrees Celsius. Now I usually set mine to 50 or 55 and when it gets up to 40 something I just hit print and I skip it and I go. Um, and you have to remember that when you're, the, the print bed is going to the glass, then to the sheet of plastic. So if I'm printing at 50, it's, this is probably only at about 40. So I'm going to increase the temperature up to at least 65, maybe 70 for all my future prints. And another thing that I learned is that a lot of people commented, do I print on the smooth side or the kind of matte, uh, rougher side? And I noticed mine, felt very smooth on both sides. There was maybe a very minor difference between the two. But most people said they printed on the matte side, the rougher finish, and it gave the parts a, uh, on the shiny side, it gave it a mirrored finish, just like printing on glass, but it adhered better to the rough side. And what some people had, had done is actually use sandpaper to rough it up even more. They said that adhered even more. So I went downstairs and I used 320 grit, the finest grit I had. Some people said 200 at least, or some people said 1,000. So this is a, a sheet that still has the plastic on it, and this is one that I took the plastic off. So I sanded it a couple directions. Um, so now it's scored. I'll print with a higher temperature. And the last thing that people suggested was to use acetone. So I'm going to wipe acetone on here to get it, remove any oils. I'll use the rough side. I'll clamp it down so it's nice and flat. And I'll print at at least 65 for a heated bed. I'll probably go with 70. And we'll see how that works. Hopefully that works. It'll be Everything will be fixed and I won't have to use glue or hairspray or anything like that. So let's see how this new sheet works. <laughs> Well, after a couple of quick test prints, I think that did the trick. Increasing the t uh, print bed temperature up to 65, scoring up that surface, and uh, it did leave, it wasn't as, the original prints were super shiny. These new test prints I did were a little bit rough, but nothing very noticeable. It's still a nice smooth finish, and I could tell when I pried it up from the bed. The first time it kind of just popped right off. This one you had to really get in, kind of like when I was printing um, with a glue stick. So. Hopefully that fixed it, and hopefully uh, from now on I'll just be using a sheet of PEI and no other uh, uh, stuff to keep that uh, the prints stuck down to it. So I hope this helps uh, anyone that's considering or looking into getting a sheet of PEI uh, for their 3D printer. Good luck. <laughs>
hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.